now uh, for uh, um, the exercise um, the ticket has been printed then uh, the balance field can need to be set to a negative value by subtracting price from it. Um, well, let's see. Before a ticket uh, is printed, is it possible that balance can have a negative value? Um, so now the balance is zero for a newly created uh, ticket machine object. Uh, so to make it negative, I should put a negative amount of money. But it gives me an error, so the balance doesn't get updated to be a negative value. Now, uh, if a ticket is printed, I still have an error um, that um, some, some money should be inserted. Okay. I do it so that the ticket is printed. And now the balance should be oops now the balance we cannot get the balance right okay which is zero so is it possible I don't think so. Is it possible to get a negative value in balance? Mm, well, it's because of the condition that uh, the balance will be always uh, greater or equal than price uh, and it's only 10 that balance gets updated and price uh, is a positive value so yes oh but is there a check that the price should be positive no there isn't so if the ticket machine has a negative value for the price of the ticket, then the balance can be set, I think, to, oops, uh, the balance can be set to a negative value. Oh no, it's still positive. Uh, maybe if I insert money, 400, then I print the ticket. No, it's still positive. So it seems that it's not possible even if the price is negative what happens if the price is negative then for balance to be updated balance should be uh, greater or equal to price which can, so balance can also be negative but then mm, 
but um, price so here if the price is negative so uh, since it's a subtraction here from the previous balance to the next to the new balance um, basically okay so uh, price should always be um, positive and greater than balance in order for balance to be negative but it can never be that price uh, can be greater than balance because there is a test that uh, allows to update balance only if the price is lower than balance so it's not possible for this reason now let's look at uh, other arithmetic um, Uh, operations in appendix C and So So let's go to uh, Appendix C So uh, there is addition, subtraction, uh, multiplication, division, and modulus or remainder after division. Okay. Orders. So these are the arithmetic expressions, okay. Then there we will have Boolean expressions, etc. But we are only concerned about the arithmetic operations. Plus minus uh, star uh, slash and percent are for addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. Okay. Uh, so now let's return to the exercises. Hmm. 
So now we can um, write these two assignment statements. So for saving we can write this as a statement price star discount with the mean assignment statement you can write an expression that is total slash count now an if statement it compares the value in price against the value in budget uh, price greater than budget um, then it prints too expensive and then the semicolon uh, now we have to unindent and else We indent so that we can print just right. Mm, now, uh, to include the value of budget if the price is too high which means here this assignment should change to system dot out print element And it will be changed, the parameter will be changed to too expensive. Four, then a space, then the double quotes, plus okay, let's. First, uh, right also too expensive for a budget of space double quotes, then the plus the concatenation operator. Uh, the um, value of budget then another concatenation with a string a space cents something like that point and double quotes
then we close the bracket and we use the um, semicolon and here we have also an indent okay so now this is the answer for the exercise 2.56 and this is what has to change in exercise 2.56 uh, so that uh, we have the modification uh, that 2.57 requires.